Hey, this is Chris for Jamplay.com, and we're back with lesson number two on the In the Style of Jimmy Page licks. In the last lesson, we covered a very page-like sequence that ended with this whole step bend on the 13th fret. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back up to, this, to, their, to our target note on the 15th fret. So we bend here. Okay, that's what's happening. Let me play it real slow with that last sequence from the last lesson. Again. Okay, then, then once we're up at the 15th fret, once we've kind of recovered that note, we do this. So kind of cool and musical and playful. You're doing a whole step bend. Instead of going here, you could. Well, that sounds too normal. Okay, so. Now, we continue along these same notes in the Mixolydian mode with that next phrase. Again. Now, it's very important here that we do pick everything because we want to get a little bit more percussive. Here, you have a little bit of leeway as far as how much you pick. It's about the accents. Here, you want to pick everything because you want it you want it to be sounding more percussive you want it to be a little bit more abrupt okay then we take these same you know three notes with that bend and we bend up again and finish it off like this so there's one note we pick or we do not pick right there Okay, that last section. There's a couple hardnesses there where you, you've got notes on different strings, but on the same fret. You wanna make sure you don't get too much of this sustain going on there. So you see I'm rolling my finger. So I don't have too much disconnect between the two notes, but I also don't have... Doesn't sound that bad, but you want... Rather have that note a little bit more free to add some vibrato. All right. Let me play that back half again a couple more times for you, slowly. Then I'll combine it with the first phrase that we learned from the other lesson, and then I'll play it again with the track. the whole thing. And with the track. You'll notice as I'm playing along with this backing track that what I'm playing is doubled. That's another thing that, uh, that Jimmy Page liked to do, is he liked to double certain lead lines. And so I provided that in the track so you can, it, it's mixed down quite a bit so that you don't have to, it doesn't get in the way, but it's kind of cool to play with a doubled lead line because it, it helps you check your timing a little bit. So uh, play along with the backing track, make sure you download it, make sure you check out jamplay.com for tons of more lessons.